Go. So there are seven branches of the tree of mankind that we find Jewish population. What I thought we would do is we would take a look at what the DNA of Spanish Jews look like. There's no opportunity for influence from the Khazars because these Spanish Jews were already in Spain by the first or second century of the common era. We should be able to look at the Spanish Jews and they should be a great proxy for what the Judeans looked like a couple of thousand years ago. And so here's what a pie chart looks like. We have that quintessential J group, which is among the Sephardic, 48% or half of Spanish Jews are from a branch of the tree that is found in the Fertile Crescent. We have this E branch, which is actually known as E1B. It is found in North Africa. The G group is found in the Caucasus. The R group is found in what I would refer to as the northern part of the Fertile Crescent. And then we have a few bit players. We have this T group found in Lebanon. We have this I group at 1%, which is actually much more common in Europe. And then we have this Q group, the so-called Central Asian group, which one might theory is Khazarian, uh, found at 2% of Spanish Jews. So we should be able to look at the Spanish Jewish group as a proxy for what the Jewish population from the Middle East likely look like if the Jewish population is actually from the Middle East. So the best comparison I can give you now would be to show you how similar or how different the Eastern European Jewish population looks like. And so there we go. You want to see it again? That's the Sephardic population with their outsized 48% Middle Eastern. And here's the Eastern European Jewish population, which shows the same thing, 41%. J, typical of the Middle East, while the Sephardic population from North Africa was 13%, the Ashkenazi population, it was 20%. So after these two populations look so similar, I would submit that their premise is on very shaky ground. But I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at what the Arab populations, primarily Muslim populations in the Middle East look like. If the Jews are outliers, they're not going to look very much like the existing Muslim populations today. So here's what the Muslims look like. Well, we have 44%, so they're right in between the Sephardic and the Ashkenazi. 9% of the Middle Easterners have that North African ancestry. So when you look at the genetics, it's very, very clear that Jews, whether it's Eastern European Jews or whether it's Spanish Jews, are a Middle Eastern population. Like it or not, those are the facts. So now, after a recognition of this, I would say the ultimate political question. Is it time for Israel to apply for membership in the Arab League? There are Christian Arabs. There were Jewish Arabs who came from those Arabian countries, except I would submit to you that because my Y chromosome is a J and is Semitic, that I am a descendant of an Arab tribe as well. And the majority of people living in the Middle East today are Muslim Arabs. What that tells me is that Jews are primarily an Arabian people, of which there are three varieties, as I said, Christian Arabs, Jewish Arabs, and Muslim Arabs. And so in the event that Israel does make this application to join the Arab League, not the Organization of Islamic States, the Arab League, I wanted to be prepared, and so I am.